Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here. So, as most of you are aware by now, Forza Horizon 5's newest expansion was just revealed called Rally Adventure. And it takes us to a new place called Sierra Nueva, which will be home to the dustiest and dirtiest races the Horizon Festival has ever hosted. Now, one of the new features that Playground Games highlighted in the upcoming Rally expansion was of course the new Rally Race. So this is a race where the driver races against the clock and throughout the entire stage there are blue split checkpoints which will show you how far in front or behind you are in comparison to your competitors. Not only that, you will also be accompanied by a co-driver who will read you pace notes throughout these rally stages. Now based off from what Playground Games showcased on their live stream, this is most likely the only new race mode that is going to give Horizon players a slightly different racing experience despite already seeing something very similar on the original Forza Horizon Rally expansion back in 2012. Now, I won't talk about my opinions on how I feel about the entire expansion as of yet, but I want to specifically focus on something which I was really disappointed, worried and concerned about, and that is of course the cars that will be included in the new Rally Adventure expansion. So, we know that there will be 10 new to Forza cars exclusive for the upcoming expansion, but my issue is that majority of these cars are basically buggies or trophy trucks, vehicles that are more suited for cross-countrying more so than Rally itself. There are only two cars from this expansion that arguably stand out as a different class compared to the rest, and that is of course Colin McRae's WRC Ford Focus RS and the Ford F-150 Lightning. To me, this raises so many questions, like why are the selection of new cars so lopsided to buggies and trophy cars, despite this expansion being called Rally Adventure? Is this expansion really going to be a rally adventure? Or is this more of a cross country expansion? I mean, if you were to ask me, just based on the cars in the expansion alone, I would be more inclined to make an educated guess that other than perhaps a handful of new rally races featured in the new expansion, there will be far more cross country races and expeditions to do. And if that is the case, I would be incredibly disappointed because we can already do that on the main map of Horizon 5. Majority of the map is cross country already. Of course, I'm just speaking for myself at this moment, but I don't need to experience more cross country races in Horizon 5 at this point. Not only that, these off-road buggies and trophy cars, like who seriously drives these on a regular basis? Yeah sure, you might choose them when there is a cross-country event you want to compete in, but other than that, I have rarely seen anyone drive any of the existing ones we currently have in Horizon 5 out in free roam, which is another reason why I believe cross-country racing is a major focus in the new expansion, otherwise why would Playground Games include so many of them in the first place? And all of this could very well reflect on the design of the new expansion map too. If there's more cross country events, that basically means more areas that are left undesigned with just more sand dunes and trees, which is the same problem we have on the main map of Horizon 5. Oh look, there's some empty space, let's place a cross country event here so it looks like it was left intentionally. The question is, is this new map really going to be any different to the main map in terms of racing or driving experience? Is it going to offer something that is so outstandingly different to the base game that it will be worth paying money for? I really don't know. Now, Rally is of course also heavily raced on Tarmac 2, and seeing as how little Tarmac racing or gameplay was showcased in Playground Games reveal livestream, I'm certainly worried as to what the ratio is when it comes to off-road versus on-road. Majority of the gameplay that was showcased in the reveal was all driven off-road with all of the new buggies in the expansion. Now of course they did say that Road Rally is one of the three teams that you can choose and should you progress your entire career by just racing on tarmac, you can do so. 
But what I don't understand is why didn't we get a good look at all of the tarmac stuff as well? I think I can speak for the community that road racing is a huge part of the Horizon racing experience, perhaps more so than off-roading itself. And if they are going to have Rally Adventure as this new paid expansion, why aren't they revealing or showcasing the asphalt stuff too, which is also very important to the community? It almost felt like they were hiding the fact that the new expansion didn't really have many tarmac roads and if they were to showcase too much gameplay or the tarmac road layout on the expansion, we would start recognizing the same areas already. And couple that with the eight or so new to Forza buggies and trophy cars included in this expansion, it's beginning to kind of add up, at least for me, that this expansion will be more or less cross-country based and if that's the case, then it's just pretty much playing like the base game of Horizon 5. Again, I'm just curating my opinions based on what was showcased and all the information that has been revealed on the official website thus far. But the biggest disappointment is seeing just one true rally car. When I was watching the reveal live and in the trailer there was Colin McRae's WRC Ford Focus, I was hoping, okay, it's a rally expansion, not necessarily what I was hoping for, but let's see what other rally icons Playground Games could be bringing in too. Maybe we might see the Subaru Impreza S4 WRC, also driven by Colin McRae as well, perhaps some Group B legends, and after about a minute or so, I came to the realization that no other rally cars were going to be added. And in the end, I was just feeling deflated and disappointed because in the trailer, what Playground Games would usually do is that they'll showcase the new cars that will also be included in the upcoming expansion as well. And the sad part is majority of them, I didn't really recognize or at least was hyped about. I know Playground Games can do so much better with the car choices in the expansion. Let's just say that this is a proper Rally Adventure DLC and I had to sit down in the meeting with everyone at Playground Games and the team has told me, right, due to licensing issues with EA who just recently bought the Dirt franchise, we've only managed to acquire one proper WRC rally car and that is of course Colin McRae's Ford Focus RS. What other cars could we include in our rally expansion? You know what I wouldn't have said? Let's add as many buggies and trophy cars we can. I would have said, okay, no problem. How about including some rally bred road going cars that haven't been featured in the Horizon series before? Cars like the new Toyota GR Yaris would be a great option. What about the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 3? I mean, we are planning on including anti-lag and launch control around during this time, right? I mean, the Land Evo 3 would be a great choice as well. Or what about a proper rally resto mod like the Pro Drive P25? And also, we need to sort out this situation with Lancia and Stellantis. It's almost sacrilegious to release anything rally related without Lancia being in the picture. Just something along those lines or discussions with the team, you know, could have perhaps swayed the Rally Adventure expansion to go a different direction when it comes to adding the cars. Some research and time could go a long way and you can dig up some really cool cars that could have easily been added and would be a much better fit than the cars we actually got in this new Rally Adventure expansion. So then we ask, are the new expansion cars representative of how the new expansion will actually play? Or was this a matter of Playground Games just choosing a very lackluster lineup of cars to be included in the expansion? Who knows at this very moment, but what do you guys think about the 10 new to Forza cars that will be arriving with Expansion 2? Let us know down in the comment section below. I do read all of your comments, guys. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as it really does help me out. And of course, if you would like to stay up to date with everything Forza Horizon 5 related, including some possible early gameplay of the Rally Adventure, please be sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications notifications turned on so that way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.